Some trust in chariots, and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Psalm 20, verse 7. Top of the morning to you. When we consider Hebrews 11, 1, with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God better, we find out that faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The simple statement has a lot packed into it. Faith def uh, defined as complete trust and confidence in someone or something. Assurance is defined as confidence. Hope is defined as the expectation or desire for something to happen. So to put this all together in terms of God, we are completely confident in our God and His Word. In fact, this faith inspires us to obey His Word by taking steps of faith because we hope in what He says is truth. There are different levels of faith. Intellectual faith, James 2.19 says, Even demons believe and shudder at the name of Jesus. They just refuse to obey. Then there's the dead faith, as explained in James 2.26. Faith without works is dead. Then there's the saving faith, John 3.16. Whoever believes in Jesus shall not perish but have eternal life. And Ephesians 2.8-10, you are saved by grace through faith. So thanks to our loving faith in God through Jesus, we are sure in the things we hope for. What do we hope in? Psalm 39.7, my hope is in the Lord. Psalm, Psalm 78.7, I will not forget his works and keep his commandments. Psalm 119.8, I hope in your word. Psalm 119.166, I hope in your salvation. Psalm 137, verse 7, I hope in his mercy and abundant redemption or rescue from sin. Romans 5.5, 5, this hope we have doesn't disappoint either because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. This hope should infiltrate every area of our lives. 1 Corinthians 9.10 He who plows should plow in hope. He who threshes in hope should be a partaker of this hope. Hebrews 6.19 The hope acts as an anchor of our soul, keeping us sure and steadfast, uh, confirming about what G James 1.5-6 says. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is unstable in all his ways. A word of encouragement. While it's important to have faith, hope, and love, it's most important to have love, 1 Corinthians 13.13. 13. That's because with love as our base, we won't be subject to fear. In other words, perfect love casts out all fear, 1 John 4.18. Deception, 2 Thessalonians 2.10. Selfishness, pride, and idolatry. All are killers of the faith and hope. Nobody said it would be easy, as, in, as Luke 13.24 says, we strive to enter through the narrow gate. Have a great day.